Hi there. I thought I'd do a <clears throat> separate video uh, on my Mitrovna antenna analyzer. Um, this version uh, will match uh, antennas from 100 kilohertz to I think 180 megahertz. So it's a pretty wideband piece of kit. Um, here I have it uh, analyzing my SEX80 wideband vertical antenna via my MFJ 949E antenna tuner. And as you can see, on 14.074 megahertz, the FT8 frequency for 20 meters, I have a perfect SWR uh, of one to one, just over one, um, almost exactly 50 ohms impedance. Um, I'm just gonna briefly show you, there's other ways to look at this information. Um, there's a meter, so that screen also gives you the reactance and the resistance uh, in ohms and the, and the SWR, um, and then there's actually another screen that gives you the six amateur bands so you can look at how the antenna uh, is matched across the bands in real time so perfectly tuned on 20 meters right now um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually back to the menu um, and I'm going to change the frequency uh, to 10.136 so that's the FT8 frequency on 30 meters so let's do that um, so just adjust it, um, one, and then three, and then across again, so 10.136, right, so here we are, 30 meters, 10.136 megahertz, uh, and the SWR is now three, so if I, um, adjust the transmitter and antenna uh, pots on the MFJ what have we got here we go right SWR 1.0 um, and 50 ohms impedance so that was pretty straightforward uh, going from 20 to 30 meters very easy indeed. So let's go to 7.074, 40 meters, and see what we get. I think this might be more difficult. Um, so let's go to 7.074. Uh, let's go there. Right. Okay, 7.074. Standing wave ratio, 71, not very good. And let's adjust the inductor. Okay, so I've gone to I, 14, uh, H, 3.0. So let's try H. So now I'm adjusting transmitter and antenna again. What have we got? 2.1, 2.0. Um, now the antenna. 1 1.8, 1.7, 1.6, 1.3, 1.2, 1.1, 1.02. So there you go. Actually, that was easier, quicker than I thought it was going to be. So there you go. Just very quickly testing, analyzing the antenna, uh, how it matches on uh, 40, 30, and 20 meters. Um, it's almost finding it, I'm almost finding it quicker to match the antenna. If I'm changing bands on FT8, then wait around for the uh, Yesu or to transmit on the Yesu. Um, because I use 10 watts low power, I can simply um, retune um, between bands um, just waiting for the uh, FT8 for the, uh, on FT8 waiting for the AC to start transmitting again but actually this is uh, probably even quicker um, but it's only really the time to unplug the antenna from the uh, from the back of the Yesu and plug it into the Metrovna so yeah overall um, it's a very nice little unit like I said I don't know exactly how much it costs because it was a present Christmas but um, I think you can attach high Z antennas to it as well um, but yeah you can it's, it's just a really nice way of uh, checking that your antenna um, is matched okay um, at my work we have a hundred and two foot uh, G5 RV and um, I 
connected this to it the other day and, uh, and just to check that um, it was well matched up to my ICOM uh, IC756. So I, I asked for this as a present because I knew that at some point in the future it would be useful um, and I was proven right um, but it's not something that you're going to use all the time uh, necessarily. It's the sort of thing you pick up if you if, when you sense you might have an antenna problem um, but you know I needed it and it proved to be a very very useful bit of kit and uh, yeah it's uh, a very nice way to uh, to tune the antenna now I haven't calibrated it and there is a there is a small discrepancy between what I'm getting on here um, and what I actually get on the reflected needle on the MFJ but it's but it's it's very very small um, if I were to plug that back into the radio now and start transmitting um, there would be a, maybe a, a, a very very small almost a tiny adjustment on the MFJ um, so yeah that there, there, there is that small discrepancy but otherwise yeah, it, it it's works flawlessly um, it's got a rechargeable battery so you can plug it uh, into a computer and operate it on a computer anyway with some software um, and also that charges the uh, internal battery so um, which doesn't last particularly long actually I, I charged this almost fully on Friday I've used it sort of two or three times and you can see already that the battery is showing signs of sort of discharge slightly but you know and unless you've got a huge problem um, you're likely to use this device for a couple of minutes or so uh, maybe sort of five or ten minutes if you want to just check your antenna is matching across a number of bands um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, very nice little device. So um, I thought I'd share that with you. Okay, well, thanks for watching.